Subscribers of this channel may remember a story that I covered where I talked about a VTuber agency that wasn't paying their staff members and how that particular VTuber didn't want to expose the specific name of that company because they were under NDA and they were afraid of legal consequences. It appears we finally got our answer as to uh, who this mysterious company is. A VTuber by the name of Just Some Bear finally came out and added Yukawa Production. Just Some Bear was fired 66 days ago and he still has not been paid for any of the work that he has done for this company. They have ghosted him, they have stalled, they have made up excuses, and uh, he has even exhausted all legal recourse to try and get paid for the work that he has done for this company. He goes into uh, more detail in a Reddit thread. He mentions that he worked for a, a small VTuber agency, Yukawa Productions, Yukapro for short, for three months and worked an additional two months for free as an internship prior. They actually, uh, his contract was terminated without warning on March 21st of this year, and he is still fighting for the three months that he is owed pay. From what he understands, he is not the only one who has not been paid. So this is an issue with multiple talents and staff. He's finally blowing the whistle because he's had enough. The CEO of the company has left him no choice but to go public with this information. And overall, he just really doesn't want anyone else to find themselves in a similar situation after seeing that he's not the only one being affected negatively by his experience with Yukawa Productions. He has tried to uh, sue locally without any success. So all he can really do at this point is let people know that this company is not a company you want to work with. He does clarify that he is not trying to start a uh, witch hunt or get any of the members of staff harassed. He is just trying to draw attention to a very serious problem so, and to not do business with this company. And he also gives a list of uh, red flags to look out for when potentially signing up for a VTuber agency. Number one, that company is going to look for international contractors because it's going to be insanely hard, if not impossible, to sue if they don't pay you. Number two, if they're not writing things down and not just recording documents, but giving you the appropriate documents in a timely manner, they're not tracking your hours, you should definitely take that as a huge, huge red flag. If they're communicating things verbally and not backing that up with documents, if they're speaking over Discord and not over email, there's a lot of a lot of really subtle things that a company can do to assure you that everything is under control when there is in fact no clear written contract or proof of what they have told you, which even if you could sue internationally would make it insanely difficult for you to prove your case. Because a lot of the stuff is verbal, a lot of the stuff is over Discord, and if you don't screenshot what's discussed over Discord, it can always be deleted. And another thing he helpfully points out is that if you're working for an agency if you're gonna work for any company and they don't have a clear product, a website built, a very clear plan, an established online presence, then you probably shouldn't work for them because these are one of the things that get fleshed out early when you're starting a company. So if they have nothing to show you when you start, don't start. And at the end of the day, even if it feels like this is your dream job, if the company in question can't be 100% trusted, don't trust them. It is not worth getting screwed out of earned wages because you decided to work for a sketchy asshole. Yuka Pro has responded to this with an absolute nothing burger of a tweet. They mention Just Some Bear by name and uh, they accuse him of conflict of interest, breaking NDA, harassment, falsification of information, and just being generally unprofessional, which is very vague. And like half of their complaints are them just complaining that he, you know, was a whistleblower. You can't have someone blow the whistle on you and then your method of trying to discredit them is basically just saying that they are a whistleblower. That doesn't make any sense. That's stupid. They say they launched an internal investigation, which is meaningless. They say that they apologize to our talents, but at no point do they uh, provide any clear method for how they're going to 
get money out to the people who haven't been paid. They talk about reformation and restructuring and responsibilities of staff, but they don't actually give anyone a clear plan of what they're actually going to do in any meaningful capacity. It's all bullshit legal speak. That means absolutely nothing. The takeaway here is number one, don't work for Yuka Pro. Yukawa Productions is not to be trusted. And two, if you're going to work for any sort of small indie agency, especially a small VTuber indie agency, you really gotta do your due diligence and making sure they're legit and get everything in writing and don't work if the company is in a different country than you because then it'll be really hard, if not impossible to sue if they screw you over. I wish you all the best of luck and I hope uh, that something like this does not happen to you. Bye guys.